Hello gamers, welcome back to another comprehensive weapon review. Today, I will be reviewing... Let me see... I believe the Mozambique. Now this... I know I said this in the P2020 video, but this is quite a controversial one. Due to the fact of it, uh... It used to be really, really bad. And now some people say it's less bad, and some people say it's still terrible. Some people swear by it. Those people, well, in general, they're probably not being completely honest, but we'll see. Because this is a comprehensive review of the Mozambique. And I'm, to be clear, I'm only using the Mozambique this round. Yeah, Nothing else. No grenades. That. Heals are allowed, obviously. But no other damage dealing things. I can't even use the P2020, though. I would not want to. Because the Mozambique dwarfs the P2020 in every sense. Oh, I want that. Thank you. <laughs> I just thanked narcotics. Adding an extra pair of eyes. Who, who decided to name themselves I that? Enemy over there. Ooh, enemy over there. Copy right. that. Oh, he's got drone. You hear that? I see an enemy over there. There's a care package coming back. Alright, out of range. Chip, chip damage, but not bad. 14 damage each chip. Cracked shield. And they can't really do much. Because even if it hits them just once, 15 damage. Recharging shield. Someone destroyed my drone. Now hit fire. Awesome. This, unlike the P2020, being the two starter weapons, it does damage. Like, honestly, this thing does some serious damage. It's not that bad. I used to be very against it, so I tried it just once in the firing range, and I was like, Oh, sure, it looks like it can do this much damage, but that's just because it's against a target dummy. But no, this thing is genuinely really, really powerful for a starting weapon. A very common weapon. Because you'll find it everywhere. So, there's really no, there's no problem with using it. Fuck this. I can genuinely just die. Die. Yeah. I put one down. Watch your back. I and I can possibly live. Nope. I'm not done yet. Got one right here. Oh, yeah. I thought it was too good to be true. I'm going this way. Right. Someone should na name themselves Easy Cheese. Easy right Cheese here. is awesome. Oh, no way, I'm getting rest. I don't know why I used my, uh, my health drone, but... I didn't really get to use it that much this round, because, you know, it, it is hard to hit shots with occasionally, due to the fact that it's not as wide-ranged as a... Eva 8. It's kind of like a peacekeeper. But in other senses, it's also really easy to hit when out of range, just because it has way higher spread than, say, a P2020 or really any automatic weapon. And the fire rate on this thing, it's faster than the Eva 8 auto! Default, it's faster than an Eva 8 with like a blue bolt or something. Not 
bolt. Or I get, yeah, it's a shotgun bolt. Yeah. It's genuinely insane. For a starter weapon. It's not better than just any weapon in general. Saying that would be a lie. Aw oh, man, his drone got destroyed. Oh, and the reload time's crazy fast. Enemy up there. Well, that's perfect then. As I am up here. Oh no. Oh no. God dang. See, the Mozambique isn't good, though. It isn't a... I did not mean to do that. It isn't a genuinely good weapon. It's not... It's not the best. However, when compared to the other zero... And this is obviously an arena's review. I can't really test it as accurately in BR, but um, compared to the P2020, in almost every way it's superior due to the fact that it can actually be used as a main weapon. Whereas the P20, unless you hit all headshots, it's going to dwarf in comparison damage-wise. Putting an eye in the sky. Like, god dang. Oh, there's an enemy over there. And I'm getting sniped at. Fun. Oh no, that's not good. Someone destroyed your drone because you stopped using it. Does. Why do you do that? God darn it. Ooh. It's pain. I wish... I wish I, uh wasn't doing a comprehensive review because then I could just totally blow it off. But this is a weapon that I... That th this is a weapon in the game so I have to review it. Ugh. I do not want it to go to the sniper section. Because then I'll have to be using strictly snipers. But oh well. It's arenas so there's... As long as it's not ranked arenas, it doesn't matter as much. Still have fun if you're fighting. Unless you're someone who rage quits incredibly often or something. But if you're one of those people, then you've got other issues. Issues that could probably be solved, but are need to be addressed. Of course. We got some extra supplies. I wonder if this one's gonna get to sudden death. Ow. Oh no! Crud. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh no. Enemy. Can you some help here? Oh no. 
See, there it did solid 45 damage each one. But it's not going to do that every time you use it. It's a very inconsistent weapon. When you're not aiming down sights, it's even worse. I don't know why I keep on buying grenades. It's kind of a waste. I sure hope they're not judging me for only using the Mozambique. Because I would probably judge someone for using only the Mozambique. Unless, of course, they were a YouTuber. But yeah, so far, the Mozambique's earning, like, not very many points due to the fact that I'm not able to get that much damage with it, and I've only gotten one kill. Whereas when I use more reliable shotguns, like the PK or the EVA, they're just much better. In fact, I'd go as far to say that a PK is just a slower-firing Mozambique, given the fact that, you know, it's harder to hit, but stronger... Er, but, you know, it's... It's got a it's got a good damage output if you can hit all your shots. So basically, a PK is a more reliable version of the Mozam. Oh no, under fire! Eat a Mozam, you you dolt. I will now be dead. Under fire. Goodbye. What? Alright, so my comprehensive review of the Mozambique. It's got quite good damage. It's got not enough consistency. It's, in general, not a good weapon. I'd say... 2 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a solid 2 out of 10.